Hey guys, it's C. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here and welcome to another episode of Vlogtober. So we are in the kitchen today and we are making a fall soup. This soup is called the Cajun Tortellini Soup and I saw this on TikTok and I was like, I definitely want to try it because y'all know your girl loves some good tortellini. So as you can see, these are the ingredients. You can use whatever ingredients you want to use uh, for the meat. I chose to use the chicken Italian sausage because in the video that I saw, the girl used um, some sweet Italian and spicy Italian like the pork sausage. But of course, if you've been here for a while, you know that I do not eat beef or pork. So I found the chicken sausage version of that. The one is the rotisserie seasoned, and then the other one is the sweet Italian. And these, they had casing on it, so I knew that I would be grind, grounding these up. So I went ahead and took the casing off of it so that it would be easier to uh, mash up. And then I went ahead and cut up some onions and also some of that kale that was in the beginning. And then this is the sweet Italian one. That one didn't have the casing on it, so that one was fine. So what I did was I went ahead and put all of this. This is a one pot recipe, which I love because you don't have to mess up a lot of dishes and everything can cook all together. So I went ahead and started putting the um, a, a few onions in there and then I put the chicken sausage in there and then I was using my masher to mash it up. I'm sure there probably was a different way to do this, but that was the easiest way that I could think of to do it. So I put that in there and then I also used some minced garlic to put in there with it. And then I also added in the onions. And once everything starts cooking together, getting real flagrant and smelling good, then I went ahead and added in the chicken broth. I ended up using a whole, uh, well this was like some that I had left over from another meal. So I ended up using like a whole container and then a little bit of another container that I had left over. So I would say maybe a container and a half of chicken broth, but it just depends on how much soup you wanna make. I wanted to make a good bit, so that's why I used that much. And so I went ahead and put that in, stirred it up, and then I let that start boiling for a little bit. And then I went ahead and added in the kale. Now you do not have to add in the kale this early. Um, you can also use spinach for this recipe, but like I said, I'm just following the one that I saw on TikTok, but I do think spinach will be good in this um yeah you don't you do not have to add it this early i i feel like i probably added a little bit too early but it didn't take away from it i that's just my thoughts <laughs> looking back at this and so then i went ahead and seasoned everything i used my normal seasonings tony's creole i used garlic powder uh, i didn't use onion powder because we were out of it <laughs> uh, but i normally use onion powder i use cayenne pepper and then i also used some italian seasoning Oh, and I also use some red pepper flakes too. <laughs> I forgot about that. But yeah, so I seasoned it and I let that go ahead and start boiling. And then I went ahead and added in the cheese tortellini. Now, normally I like to use um, the Reina brand of tortellini, the ones that's in the refrigerator section, which is what I'm going to use the next time because I like the chicken one that they have. But I decided to use this one. Um, this is the frozen one, and it's the cheese tortellini, which it was good. I just went ahead and put it in while it was boiling because y'all know tortellini does not take that long to make. So I added that in while it was boiling, and then I also went ahead and added in the sun-dried tomatoes. Now, I will say the next time I won't use this particular brand of sun-dried tomatoes. I just feel like this brand is a little too tangy, and a little. it has like a little funny taste to it. I'm not sure what it is, but... I just won't use that one anymore. No I'll use the one that's like in the oil, in the jar. I think that one is better. But either way, it was still good. And I put some heavy whipping cream in there. And y'all, that's it other than cheese. Um, I forgot about the cheese. You mix this in and as it was getting done and getting thickened up, I went ahead and added in some cheese. I used shredded cheese, um, which is the, the kind I buy all the time. It's the um, Kobe Jack kind. I used that, but I also used some goat cheese because the girl in the TikTok video used goat cheese. 
I got the wrong one. I used the plain one, which you'll see in a second. But when I went back to look at her video, she used the garlic herb one. And I really want to see what that one tastes like. I just feel like it gave it some extra little flavor. But this is how it's looking um, while it's doing a little simmering and everything is mixing together. But y'all, this recipe is so easy. That's the plain goat cheese that I use. I really want to try the garlic herb. But yeah, this recipe was so easy to make. Like I said, it's one pot. As y'all can see, it was filling. Um, it lasted us a couple days. Me and Bay ate this for um, lunch and dinner a couple days. But it was really, really good. I definitely recommend trying this recipe. I didn't get a chance to show me and Bay on camera eating it, but y'all we tore it up like it was so good so if you're looking for a good fall soup recipe then definitely check this one out i will list the ingredients on the screen but yeah guys it was so so good i'm definitely making this again probably next week like this is going to be y'all know when i find a good soup i'm going to keep it in rotation every single time uh, and so this is how it looked this is a little bit later on um as you can see the lighting changed but this is how it looked after it thickened up and this is pretty much how i like my soup i like for it to have a little bit of thickness to it but also you know just enough soup but yeah this is me i didn't get a cute picture of it enough of y'all um uh, it was good i ended up making some garlic bread i was supposed to get some croissants but i forgot to go and get some so we had some garlic bread and i just went ahead and made that but yeah guys i hope y'all have enjoyed this video definitely let me know if you've tried this soup before try the chicken sausage in it i think it's really good but i know the pork will probably be good as well but i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up but as always thank y'all for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and share this video with somebody and i'll see y'all in the next one which will be tomorrow bye guys love y'all